The word geometry has been derived from two Greek words, geo and metron. The former word means earth and the latter means a measure or measuring. Thus, the word geometry means the measurement of earth. In early days, geometry was normally used for measuring land and digging irrigational canals. Nowadays, we use geometry to study space, architecture, design and engineering. Geometry helps us in thinking clearly and in logical reasoning. In this chapter, we will learn about points and lines, curves, polygons. Point Basic Geometrical Concepts A point, a line and a plane are three basic concepts in geometry. It is not possible to define these three concepts precisely. We shall therefore explain these concepts by giving some examples which will give a good idea about these terms. Point A small dot on a sheet of paper marked by a sharp tip of pencil or a small prick made by a fine pin on a paper gives us a good idea about a geometrical point. We represent a point by a single dot on a paper and denote it by capital letters A, B, C, etc. The point in the animation will be read as point A, point B and point C. Line segment Here we will learn about line segment. Line segment is a figure obtained by joining two distinct points with a ruler. There is an example of line segment AB. Points A and B are called endpoints of the line segment AB. Thus, every line segment has two endpoints. Line segment AB is denoted as by its endpoints written together and bar placed over it. Line segment AB and line segment BA represent the same line segments. Line. Here we will learn about line. Consider a line segment AB. Extend this line segment from A to B. Similarly, extend line segment from B to A. If the line segment AB extends endlessly in both the directions, its endpoints cannot be shown in the notebook. We shall draw arrows on both the sides. Hence, figure obtained is called line AB. Line AB is denoted by placing double-headed arrow placed over AB. Line AB and BA represent the same line. We also use English small letter to denote a line. Line AB can also be written as L. A line contains infinite number of points. Two distinct points are required to determine a line. Infinite number of lines can pass through one point. One and only one line can pass through two distinct points. Line segment is a part of line. Ray. Here we will learn about ray. Consider a line segment AB. Extend this line segment from A to B. This arrow-like figure is called ray. It is denoted by placing arrow over AB and read as ray AB. A ray has one end point. The point from which a ray starts is called an initial point or origin of the ray. Here A is origin of ray AB. Collinear points If three or more points lie on the same line, they are called collinear points. For example, points P, Q, R are collinear as they lie on the same line L. Non-collinear points if three or more points do not lie on the same line, they are called non-collinear points. For example, P, Q, R, S are non-collinear points. A line is made up of infinite number of points. That is, from a given point P, infinite number of lines can pass through. Intersecting lines Lines that cross each other and have one common point are called intersecting lines. Let us consider two lines, say L1 and L2, which intersect at S. Some examples of intersecting lines are two adjacent edges of a door, alphabet X, crossing roads. Parallel lines Two lines which are in the same plane which never meet and always have the same distance between them are called parallel lines. Some examples of parallel lines are A. The opposite edges of a ruler Rail lines The opposite edges of a blackboard Angles 
Consider a car bonnet, where the top is like a hinge door. The edges AD of the fender and AP of the bonnet can be imagined as two rays, AD and AP. These two rays have the common end point A. The two rays here together are said to form an angle. Rays AD and AP together form an angle. Point A is the end point of both rays. It is called the vertex of the angle. The two rays are the sides of the angle. Here are three ways to name an angle. A, angle A, angle PAD or angle DAP. The vertex is written in the middle. Angle as rotation of a ray. An angle can also be described by rotating a ray as discussed below. Let a revolving line or ray start rotating from the initial point OA about the point O until it reaches the final position OB. Thus, we observe that an angle AOB can be described by rotating ray with O as vertex and its arms OA and OB. Interior and exterior of an angle. Consider a ray OA keeping O fixed. Rotate arm OA to a position OB as shown. As the arm goes over to OB, it covers a certain region of the plane which is shown as the shaded region. Angle AOB can be divided into three groups. Points which lie within the shaded region, that is, within the arms of the angle produced indefinitely. For example, point P, points which lie on the arms of the angle produced indefinitely, that is, points like G, H, O, A, B, etc. Points which lie outside the arms of the angle produced indefinitely, for example, points Q, R, etc. Interior The part of the plane which is within the arms of an angle produced is called the interior of the angle. Exterior The part of the plane which is outside the arms of an angle produced indefinitely is called the exterior of the angle.